Welcome to this video on Microsoft Whiteboards. I wanted to have a look at some of the newer collaboration functions and also some of the ones that are super useful that might have been around for a while. So this video is going to walk you through a few of those ways that you can really get the most out of Whiteboards, whether you are in Teams meetings or other meetings or whether you're sharing these to collaborate on information outside rather than having paper documents and physical whiteboards there. We all work in global teams now, um, different time zones, different places of work, flexible, hybrid, etc. So this is really simple, a really simple way for us to gather everyone's info and share that detail and then start working and building on it. So I'm in whiteboard right now. I've just got a basic board open and I've put a couple of boxes there, a couple of sticky notes there with products A, B and C. What I really like about whiteboard is I can line things up and make things look really nice because that really, really bothers me if it's not. So the system really helps me out with that, like you can see there. But what I'm going to do is talk about the top right hand corner. So there's a couple of nice bits of functionality and one of the newer things on here is this timer. So you can actually set a timer. So if you've got, you're in a meeting, you're doing a task, you want people to add information, you want people to find information, you want people to vote on something, you can set a timer up that can then be shown within the whiteboard so that everyone knows when you're expected to finish and pull out of it and then continue on rather than you having to verbally say, right, we've got two minutes left and things like that. It just makes it so much so much easier. If you're in a meeting and you are creating a whiteboard and you yourself are putting information in there and you want users to make sure they're not in a different part of the board and they're focused on what you're doing, then follow me is quite a useful function as well. So anyone else who is currently in this whiteboard is unable to move around and look at other bits, they can see exactly what you're inputting. Now, if you're taking information over the call or in the room and you're inputting it yourself rather than the you, the rest of the team then this might be a really nice way of keeping everyone focused even if you're in different rooms different countries um, different time zones all of that stuff you've still got the share options which you've always had sharing that link is really useful you can just drop it into an instant message or a chat or something or a meeting or a group and then everyone can start to collaborate. And you've still got those settings. They do change at times, but those settings in the top right hand corner where you can export this whiteboard, especially if you're sharing it with someone outside of your business. That's quite a nice way of keeping that collaboration going. You're not limited to people who have access to Microsoft or people within your business. You can format things differently as well. So you can format the background with different colors, different shapes, making it accessible. Just make sure it's easy to read. Everyone's going to be able to know exactly what they're looking at. Um, so don't go for something too crazy if you want people to focus on the detail. But you do have those options available there. Now, it's something that's not available on my version of Whiteboard right now, but there is a commenting function that is available or is going to be available soon. So if you've added some information in there, maybe you've got some slides or some pictures and things like that, then you and people who are interacting on your Whiteboard will be able to comment and add extra thoughts and ideas. It's a great way of just collaborating even more and a really nice function just like most of the other things that you can do in Microsoft is you can add a reaction immediately. So you can like something, you can love it, you can, you can laugh, you can ponder over it. So you've got a few ways of interacting with things on there as well, which is quite great, even if you don't have that um, commenting link at the moment. So right in the top hand corner, you've got some nice ways of just getting a bit of excitement and interaction going. Um, making sure people focus on what you're doing if you are leading the session and you've got instant reactions and if you haven't already you should see comments coming soon it might not have appeared on your instance of Microsoft yet 
And then just remember down at the bottom, you've got all of your different functions where you can write, you can type, you can create shapes, you can react to the whole thing rather than an individual. You've got different shapes there and templates and things to work with. And don't forget, just like every other Microsoft application, three dots means there is hidden options. And if you click on it, you can add links, images, documents, and videos. So tons of ways that you can collaborate with Whiteboard. And I know there's a few other things coming um, soon. So do keep having a look at what's available there. And if there's some useful functions, I will create another short video to walk through some of them to help you out. So please do check out the rest of the videos on this channel and like and subscribe so you can see the next videos that I am recording.